Hi, in this video I am talking you through static back elbow curls. We are going to use the golfer's grip hand position here. It's not a fist, it is like that. Keep your hands active like that throughout. Need to come to a static back position like this. Get yourself comfy and get your, um, low, your upper back of your legs and your bottom as flush to whatever you're using to put your legs up against. Whatever you've got needs to, needs to be high enough so that your legs don't flop out inwards and outwards. Outwards, inwards. Feet nice and relaxed, hip width distance apart, straight line between a th running all the way up from your ankles, knees, hips and shoulders. Come into the goal post position like this. Hands in golfer's grip. Bring your hands to your temples. Keeping your wrists really active so that you don't go floppy. And we are going to use our rhomboids, that's our shoulders to bring our elbows together. Don't worry if you can't get your elbows together. It's more important to get them down to the floor each time. I find this really cha challenging, this move. My wrists always want to try and compensate for the lack of movement in my shoulders, especially my right shoulder. You might have to keep on correcting yourself. Now that's fine. Remembering the move is coming from your shoulders and your rhomboids, nowhere else. Everything else is just following. And it's okay if you can only go up to here. It's something to work towards. So don't feel you have to get your elbows like that and compensate everywhere else. You might find you're curling up. Don't worry about it. So again, reset yourself. Hands very active in the golfer's grip, which is a very hard position to do, a hand position, because lots of people don't use their hands as hands are supposed to be used. We're all using them for mobile phones and texting and just doing lots of computer work. Okay. So you need to do three sets of 20 of these and remembering it's not all about bringing your elbows together. It's more important to get the elbows down to the floor each time and to get your shoulders working in your rhomboids and watch those wrists, watch that they don't compensate. So three sets of 20, see how you go with those. They're static back elbow curls.